The clerk of the Circuit Court of Cook County will be holding a training workshop next week to help more young people get their records expunged. And joining us today to talk about it is Carmen Navarro Jercon. She is the Executive Clerk of Court Operations and Administration. That's a mouthful. Yes. Uh, thanks so much for being here, Thank Carmen. Thank you for having us. So, first of all, tell us a little bit about this event and why this is so important, especially for young people. Well, what individuals, for those who don't even know what an expungement is, it really is an opportunity to clear your record. If you want to start afresh, um, a criminal record can be a roadblock mm -hmm. for college, for certifications, to join a union, for things like that. So expungements are important uh, for individuals who have done their time or were never convicted to be able to start fresh without any of that in their background. Let me pause you right there. What kinds of crimes are uh, qualify for expungement? There's a variety of different crimes under for a variety of different reasons. That is why these workshops are so important, because they will provide the legal framework from our partners. Because it's a complicated process, Absolutely. right? So you want to make it easier for people to navigate. Correct. Um, so talk to me about the changes that have happened in the expungement process well, in the office. Well, particularly with Iris Martinez, uh, one of her... Um, passions really was the expungement process. When she came in December of 2020, there was a backlog of over 6,000 expungements because the process was an annual summit where individuals would come in and then those records weren't being processed. We're just one part of it. You have to work with the state's attorney's office. There's Illinois State Police. There's a lot and it's complicated. So what we have done is created a department. Clerk Martinez made sure now there is a department. Along with that department now, there's a training process to bring the information out to the community. So individuals who are a little nervous about the criminal justice system don't have to come into a courthouse. They can go right into the community because now the community has the information that the court has. Okay, so this event this week is going to be training the community partners who are going to really help with this work, right? Correct. It's giving them the information that's there so it's easier to process. And even questions that they're not able to answer, they now have the network available. It's nice to, you don't have to know somebody to be able to pick up the phone and make a phone call and connect to get the help you need because they're right there in your community. Talk to us about the barriers that people, uh, you know, really have to confront. They may not even know that they have an issue on their record until they go to apply for that job or they, they go to apply for housing and then it it's, comes up as a big and that, problem. It's, it's, it's a good point that you bring up right now. We had a woman show up. She was in her 80s and we're like, what can she possibly have in her 80s? Well, life had led her to the point where she never really had to deal with anything. She was applying for senior housing and found something from in her 20s. So th this affects everyone. Um, from all walks of life for all reasons, but especially for juveniles, if you've made a, a mistake or you, you've had an issue, you've done your time, you've completed the process necessary, there shouldn't be anything keeping you from getting a scholarship, from getting a grant, from joining a union, um, from just moving you or your family forward. That, that is a, housing is a human right. Employment is a human right, and you can't have roadblocks like expungements in your way, a, a criminal record in your background. Okay, and so for community organizations, uh, people who are going to be participating in the training, uh, can they still sign up? What's, yes. Okay. So uh, we, we are lucky enough to have over 40 vendors from the Illinois Attorney General to the Justice Advisors Committee um, that are going to be there to uh, offer some resources even after. But for the event itself, we... Uh, it's going to be at Malcolm X College on Wednesday, July 10th. The capacity is for 400. We're at over 80% capacity. Our previous train-to-trainer events, we've had about 100, 105 people. We're at over 290 um, right now. So time is running out. So uh, we would love there's still an opportunity for people to sign up. Thank you so much. Great to talk with you. Thank you. And for more information about the workshop, you can visit cookcountyclerkofcourt.org. Also, find them on social media.